Here we'll talk about parallel lines, which are actually quite a bit easier than perpendicular lines. So I've got two lines here, line B and line A. I want the equation for line A. Well, if I'm going to do that, I need to know the slope and the y-intercept. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the y-intercept there, and I look for any other point. I don't want this one because I can't really tell the coordinates, so I'm going to use this point right here. So it's up to and over 1. The slope is 2, the y-intercept is negative 3, so the equation equals 2x minus 3. For line B, the same thing, I find the y-intercept, which is 1, and here's another point, and we go up to over 1, so the equation of the line is y equals 2x plus 1. The rise is 2, the run is 1, that gives me the 2 here, and this positive one is the y-intercept. So lines A and B are parallel. Well, you can see if I move one of the lines over the other, I just slid straight down. It really was parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope but different y-intercepts. If they have the same y-intercept, then they're the same line, and that doesn't count for parallel. And uh, one thing you need to do is be able to pick out the slope from the graph. So I could say, here's the graph of a line, and give me a parallel line that goes through another point. So in this example, I want to find the, equa the equation for line t is y equals 2 fifths x plus 11. And I want a parallel line that passes through this point. It's really extremely straightforward because I'm using the same slope, 2 fifths, and just my new point, 10, negative 1. I do a substitution, distribute the 2 fifths, 2 fifths times x is 2 fifths x, 2 fifths times 10 is 4, so 2 fifths x minus 4, subtract 1 from both sides, and there is the slope-intercept form. This one was the point-slope form. That's it. Now, uh, for other types of line relationships, if two lines have the same slope and y-intercept, then they are called coinciding. If two lines have different slopes but are not perpendicular, then they are intersecting. And maybe I should say intersecting, not perpendicular, because technically perpendicular lines intersect. So in this example, we're going to determine which combinations are parallel, coinciding, perpendicular, and just plain old intersecting but not perpendicular. Most of these look like they're pretty easy to see. I see I've got my slope is negative 3 there, negative 1 third there, 3 there, negative 3 there, and negative 3 there. The only thing that's throwing me off is this uh, equation for D. I really would like to make it y equals, and the reason is, is we might have a coinciding line, which ha is exactly the same line, and that doesn't count as parallel. So let's go ahead and rewrite d. Here's the original. I'm going to distribute the negative 3, so it's negative 3x minus 3 here. Then subtract 1 from both sides, so I get y equals negative 3x minus 4. Oh, that's the same equation as a. So A and D are the same line. They are coinciding. But let's start going down the list. Parallel is same slope. So D and E are parallel. A and E are parallel. The only reason I'm not saying A and D are parallel is because they're the same line. Perpendicular would be reciprocal. So I need the only fraction I have here is negative one-third. And when I go the negative reciprocal, that gives me positive 3. So only lines B and C are perpendicular. Coinciding, we already discussed, that's line A and D. Then intersecting, but not perpendicular, well, A and B, because they're not perpendicular and they're not parallel. D and B, same thing. And E and B are not perpendicular, nor are they parallel. And technically, I could say D and C are not perpendicular or parallel. So I could have added that on. So for further reflection, what is true about parallel lines? What do you know about their slopes? Do they have the same slopes or different slopes? What about the y-intercepts? How can you tell if a line is parallel, coinciding, perpendicular, or intersecting? 
And then last but not least, can two lines have positive slopes and be perpendicular to each other? Defend your reasoning. Following up on that, can two lines, can a line have a positive slope and another have a negative slope and could they be parallel? And hopefully you can defend your reasoning on that too.